Hello everyone and welcome to Root Letter Last Answer. This is a game that you can buy right now on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, and Steam. This is the Nintendo Switch version and this is my third time recording this game. Because the last time I recorded it, uh, the text was real fuzzy and I didn't notice it when I was playing. So when I got to rendering it, I'm like, there's like the part where you read the letter, you can't read the letter because it's so blurry and a mess so I changed some settings in my Elgato and uh, I, I guess it's okay I, I did some test some test runs and it's working all right next looks a lot better so let's start it's a $25 I believe right now um, this product was provided to me by P cube so thanks to that um, this is our name not really our Whoops. Oh, I hate when. Get back one too many times. There we go. Boom. Yes, that is the name I want. Thank you. So I'm really bummed to have to record this again. But what we're letter is, it's an investigative game, kind of like a Ace Attorney type game. Um the big difference with this, this is like a basically like a kind of a remaster of, of Rue Letter, which um, the big change that I know is that there's the typical like anime, you know, portraits, but they also have real life portraits for uh, characters, like uh, real people. So it's kind of cool. Adds a little level of immersion, which I really like. Um, this is, we're just sticking with the anime portraits. Unfortunately, I have, you can't, at least I haven't found a way to change it in the middle of the game. So if you want to switch over, you basically have to start a whole new game. At least that's my understanding. There could be a way to do it. I'm just stupid. Which is completely possible. But I'm in my room sorting through things. I was getting ready to move to a new job after quitting my job at a design firm I had for 11 years. My parents are having some renovations done. So I came back to clean up a bit. I should tidy up. I start to put things away. So you can check around the area is what we're going to do. You can move the cursor with the left stick. When it turns red, hit A. You can use the right stick to uh, enlarge and reduce the screen in case you need kind of more accurate, you know, I'm trying to find something. You can lead to new discoveries and progress the story. So we could do this. So we could probably look at a couple different things here. Or, uh, or nothing. So we got a little jingle that plays. What's this? There's a stack of letters. They're from Ayafumino, Shimane Prefecture. Ayafumino. How long has it been? So if I'm not like super excited, because I've already played this game three times. So, uh, I mean, I'm trying I try to be as genuine as I can, but you know, there's only so much genuine you can be when you've already seen the same text a couple of times over and over again. But it's not going to detract it. This is actually a really fun game. 15 years ago. I mean, if you like murder mysteries, you'll like this, probably. 15 years ago, I put an ad in a magazine to find a pen pal. Oop, murder mystery, didn't even spoil it. But I, Fumino, saw it and sent me a letter. Well, it will spoil, spoil itself here. I think I have a picture of her somewhere. Found it. I look at her photo in the envelope. Photograph of Aya. Isn't she a cutie? She looked cute in her school uniform. Cramming for college entrance exams was insane, and her letters helped me get through it. A girl pen pal from an unknown city. Little by little, now I fell for her. Except, when I was close to graduating from high school, I sent her my 10th letter. But I never heard back from her. It kind of felt like she'd broken up with me, you know? She ghosted me. Huh? At the bottom of the pile, I find an unopened letter. This one's unopened. When was it sent? I look at the envelope, but there's no postmark. Why isn't there a postmark? I open the letter and read it. Hmm. I killed someone. I must atone for my sins. We won't speak again. Farewell. My hands are shaking. What is this? I pour over every detail of the letter. Turn on the audio just a tad. Hopefully that's a little better. 
pretty loud on my end, but it may not necessarily come out that way. It's weird. He definitely wrote this. Is this a response to the 10th letter I sent? But why isn't it postmarked? Even if I wanted to contact her. I only know her address. I looked at the address on the envelope. That was 15 years ago. She probably doesn't live there anymore. Jamane Prefecture. Then so we got some stuff here. Some stuff we can use. I really like the music. It's really nice. How many years has it been since I last looked out at the city like this? In the bus on the way to the airport, I take the letter out and look it over again. When I was a senior in high school, 15 years ago, I exchanged letters, 10 letters, with a pen pal named Aya Fumino. My memories of that time almost faded under the weight of the daily grind. You know how it is. But I'm remembering it now. It's all coming back to me. Final letter from Aya Fumino, the one without a postmark, said, I killed someone. Among other things, the disturbing letter made me want to find out the truth about her. You know, now we now we have to know. I finish packing and I'm ready to head to the airport. I look at the photograph of Ayafumino in my hand. All so I can finally see her in person for the first time. On the way to the airport, I close my eyes. But sleep doesn't come. そういう名前のクラスメートはいません。話せるようなことは何もないわ。どうして彼女のことを調べてるんだ。ごめんなさい。知らない人です。何を調べてるの？十通の手紙が導く。七つの過去と。I like, kind, of, kind of see some of the people we're going to interact with in the game, which is nice. I'm heading to Mitsui to find Aya Fumino. Outside, clouds like cotton candy shimmer white in the sunlight. I'm not sure why the recording turned out so bad. Weird. That's right. I have all the letters she sent me. I should reread them. I take a letter out from my bag. Land of the Gods. Popular place to get married. Move there, second year of middle school. Got seven classmates. I bet those are the people in the, the intro. おばっちゃん育ちの地味。運動神経抜群の猿。正義感が強い男前のガリ。優しいデブ。おしゃべりなビッチ。学校一の秀才のメガネ。それに掛けがえのない親友。彼
Do you have any friends who you can trust? What do we do in our days off? Okay. This is the first letter she sent me. Her handwriting was beautiful and she had perfect grammar. What did I write back to her? I think I said. Give your letter. Bonnie's become a puppet for marriage. How romantic. I guess I have friends. They're really just some guys I've known since elementary. And we've got George, Ronpa, Shafukute, uh, nicknamed Max. Okay, so basically we're just kind of telling her about our life. Okay, we can review the letters we sent. Think about the question she asked you at the end of the, her letter and how you responded. So you can change this. I don't know what it does. I did go for events last time, my last recording. So let's, um, I visit shrines. I'm interested in history and folklore. Do you like learning about folklore? Yeah, try something new. I don't know what this changes, but you know, I don't know. I said some childish things in those letters, which reminds me, I haven't seen my friends from back then in ages. Oh, we're almost there. I made it to Izumo Airport. Its official name is Izumo and Musubi Airport. It's a romantic place like Izumo, I suppose, putting love not in the name of the airport. This whole thing was really impulsive on my part, and I hadn't bothered reading up on Shimane before coming here. That's my bad. I wonder if I can buy a guidebook at the airport. I'm sure we can. I'm sure most airports have local guides. I found a guidebook about Shimane Prefecture. Now, what, what I, I got stuck on this first time I played it because I clicked on the bookshelf, but I was a little bit higher, and it didn't work. So I'm like, okay, what do I do? And then I like click on other things and nothing happened, but then I moved it a little lower and then it works. I'm like, okay. So it seems like just because you can click on an item doesn't mean like that's all you can maybe get from the item. Maybe if you click on a different spot, maybe it'll tell you something different. I don't know. But we acquired guidebook. This guidebook was famous sightseeing spots and has a map of the area. Okay, let's check it. When you use the guidebook, you can view descriptions of locations you visited, you'll know, get some refreshers. You can unlock map areas and serve as a source of information. There are all kinds of tourist attractions in Shimane. Hmm, this looks good. No point hanging around the airport. The address on the envelope is in Matsui City, so I'll start there. I'm minding my own business when Shimaneko approaches. Whoa, that's the Shimane mascot character, Shimaneko. So you're Shimaneko. I'm Max. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm not here for sightseeing, but I'll go if I have time. Scenery and people are magnificent. Cool, looking forward to it. Yeah, I know about Lake Shinji. There are monsters there too. Oh no. This guidebook is useful. Well, I noticed. By the way, I'm trying to get to Matsui. How do I get there? There's a bus that stops in front of the airport. Well, that sounds nifty. What? The Ichibata Electric Railroad from that famous movie is here too? Mm -hmm. I would love to ride that train to the city. It's a long journey, but that's the fun of traveling. Which bus should I take to the station? Bus to Izumo Grand Shrine. Got it. Thank you. See you around. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Don't cry. Hey, where are you going in such a hurry? Shimaneko runs off as a fleeing from something. Did I say something wrong? Oh well. After Shimaneko left, I got onto the bus to Izumo Grand Shrine Station. Not sure what all that was about, but... So this is Izumo Grand Shrine Station. Inside the station looks like a church. White walls stretching to the ceiling. The stained glass windows splatter the artwork in the center with colored light. 
Okay, so from here I can take the Ichibata Electric Railroad to Mitsui. Now if you're playing on the Switch and you've already played this before, don't hit the right bumper. Because, or not the right bumper, but like the R button. Um, because it will speed the text up, because I had that happen. So we can like, look at stuff, I can't, well, what's this? Because it might my, my just stick drifts a little bit, unfortunately. I mean, I joy, my left Joy-Con does, but it's not too bad right now. It, you know, it comes and goes. I need to get it repaired, but yeah. Let's take a vending machine. I can buy tickets. Okay. But there's really nothing we can do here, so we're just going to get going. I jump on the train. This is the famous Ichibata Electric Railroad. <laughs> Scenery outside the train is gorgeous. After a while, I see Lake Shinji. There's a fishing boat on the surface of the lake, making gentle ripples on the water. Weird how such a simple thing is so calming. Is it nostalgia or deja vu? I look around the area, so we can check out some stuff here. Eh, not much to check out. Got this ad up here. Ad for museum. I stand up to look closer. We're having a special exhibition at the Shimane Art Museum. Keep reading. Unknown local Matsui artists exhibit, huh? Huh, interesting. Interesting. We shortly arrive at the station. That was fast. The Matsui Shinji Lake Onsen Station is the last stop on the Ichibata Electric Railroad. I should double check where I'm going. I take out the letter and check I Fumino's address. I should be able to find it with my phone's GPS. Turn on my cell phone. You can use your phone here. So we can just basically save games, load game. Um, we can use items. Basically, it shows everything you've collected so far. But I mean, this is pretty basic stuff. Options menu, you can change the game settings. So as far as I know, you cannot... Yeah, there's another option here in the main menu, but to switch the graphics mode, but you can't do that, unfortunately. You can have Aya be the voice, or you can just have none. But I mean, why not at least have something, right? It's a bit annoying. But oh well. That's all we can do. I type her address into my phone, and the GPS shows me the route. Bit of a hike from here. I need the exercise, so I'm getting a little chubby. So I'll walk. So we can move. When you select move, choosing the overall map option will allow you to view the entire area. From the overall map, confirm the spot you'd like to go, then press the A button. If you want to change your location within an area, you can select the displayed list. You, you select the displayed list. You can wait. You select the displayed list. You can select one from the displayed list. Whoa. Move to a different location. I don't know if that sentence was right, but it didn't look right. But Fumi no household. Here we go. I arrive at a residential area. I get to the address, but there's nothing here. Where is it? Check the map on my phone. That's weird. According to the map, it should be right here, but... It's just an empty lot full of weeds. I wonder if there's someone around that I can ask. So we can check here. There's a mailman. I'll ask him. I showed the address on the letter to the passing mailman. Uh, excuse me. Oi. Okay, so we can ask him questions. You choose a subject or topic to sway conversations, get information you want. Uh, excuse me, is this... Wait, what was the address? I'll show the mailman the address on the letter, so we can show him things. Show items to the person with whom you're speaking. Only items that are in your possession can be shown. Selecting an item to show a character too soon will not help you progress through an event. Choose which item you want to show to people according to the situation. So you can't be like, okay, well... So they play this for, I know he needs to see the letter, I'll just show him the letter right away. Doesn't work. It's too soon. I'm trying to get to this address. Is this the right place? I think the Fumino family used to live in a house here. Do you know anything about that? Oh, man. I see. Fire. 
確かここですよ Fire, there was a fire here. When was that? Fifteen years ago, huh? Could it be? Is she alive? I wonder if what she said in her letter had anything to do with this. No, thank you. You were a big help. At least we know something. Well, great. I mean, I, I never even imagined her house might just not be here. My stomach suddenly growls at me, and I remember how long I've been traveling. And I think about think I'll think about this more on an empty stomach, or a full stomach, I should say. I wonder if there's any good restaurants near here. Maybe there's something in the guidebook. Yeah, let's check the guidebook. There's a soba restaurant called Kamiarion within walking distance. I think I'll check it out. So now we can move. So right here. I don't know how long this game is. I don't think it's too too long. But uh, you know, I don't know. I'd have to check VNDB for that. I arrive at the front of the Kamiarion Soba restaurant. Now look at this place. I bet the food is great. Nice little, you know, hole in the wall place. As I step inside, I can feel the prestigious atmosphere of this spacious restaurant. When I take a seat, a young waiter brings over a menu. Hey, Yasei. Can I ask you a question? I accept a menu from Sanpei. Um, no, actually. Sanpei disappears into the back. Well, okay then, not sure what a guy like that is doing in an old school noodle joint. I look at the menu. If you've got a big appetite, try the Yamada no Orochi Soba. I guess that's their specialty. Sanpei comes over. Can I finish the entire thing? I've got a big stomach. Bring me Yamata no Orochi Soba, please. Hey, Yamata no Orochi Soba! Sanpei goes back into the kitchen. As I wait, I get hungrier and hungrier. I can't wait to see what I'm actually eating. So we can check around here to kind of advance things. There's not a whole lot you can do here, though. Check this. A lot of different dishes. I'm looking around the restaurant when he sets the Yamata no Orochi Soba down in front of me. This is a giant serving of cold soba with thick slices of eel on the side, named after the mythological eight-headed serpent. I've never had eel. I wonder if it's good. I'm not a huge fan of seafood, though. It looks worthy of my stomach. I dig into the Yamada no Orochi soba. Whoa, this is delicious. It's so good. The soba's consistency is perfect, and the eel is soft with a lot of fat. I'm so glad I was born in Japan. But the fish looks at me, and that's a little weird. Can I order the... Next time I order it, I'm going to order it without the fish in. This is this good. I think I can eat the whole thing. Done. That was fast. That was good. Starving. Hearing this, the rough and tumble restaurant owner emerges from the kitchen. They totally look like workers. I mean, yeah, they work here. What else are they going to look like? I'll reply in max mode. During important scenes, you'll switch to max mode to convey your feelings to someone. The dialogue will change as the gauge fills up. When you choose what to say, press the A button. If the person with whom you're speaking did not like your answer, you have to do it again. Once you succeed, the story will continue. So, we want to get to the top here. I'm a max big eater. I'm always all in. I'm max. What a polite answer. I better give a polite response. 
The soba and the eel were both very delicious. I'm from Tokyo. Uh, no, not exactly. Let's give him the letter. We can't give him the letter. Buy around a vacant lot. We can ask about the suba, but I don't care about that. We need information. Actually, there's something I'd like to ask. I mean, it was, it was really good soba, though. There's a big empty lot nearby. There was a fire there 14 or 15 years ago. Oh. I think he had a daughter in high school this, at the time. Kinkichi cocks his head to one side in confusion. Two customers come into the restaurant. Okay, so we can ask again. Mr. Genkichi, um, about Miss Fumino. F off? Aw, oh, thank you, man. Wait, no, no, wait. I, want, I want to ask you a bit more about the fire at the Fumino house. Oh, man. I see. Well, you eat at my place. Sumo legs and hips? And Kichi goes back into the kitchen. Yes, I'll ask about the fire somewhere else. Uh, a place where I can find out about the fire. Is there a library nearby? I'll research the fire there, thank you. Well, I mean, there's not much more we can do here. Uh, you know, can't get blood from a stone, as they say. So, we're just gonna go, uh, go to the library. Learning new things isn't hard when you have a library card. Arriving at the library, I'm greeted by a modern concrete building. Quiet in here. I wonder where the periodical section is. I'll ask it to help. I head over to the help desk. Excuse me, where's the periodicals? Left at the back, okay. Thank you. Okay. Guess I'll look for the newspapers. So we can check. It's actually over here. It's not here. These are the new ones. These are the old ones. The books of newspaper archives. Here we go. I look at the archive version of the newspaper from December of 1999. I was... How old was I? 12? On December 25th at 9pm, there was a fire at the home of Professor Naoko Fumino, which burned the entire building to the ground. The body of Yoko Fumino was found in the remains of the house. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. It wasn't Aya who died in the fire, but 62-year-old Yoko Fumino. Her mother, maybe? I found some details of what happened in the fire, but I think it's time to go to the hotel. I reserved a room at that Matsui Inn. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go to the inn, which is right there. Got a nice view of the lake. It's pretty nice. I arrive at the inn. This must be where I made a reservation. It's an old two-story wooden building. I picked this place because it was cheap, so I can't really complain too much. The site said it has a large bath, and, and really, when it comes to inns, the room and service are more important than how it looks. All right, here I go. I enter the inn. Excuse me. A woman in a kimono comes out to welcome me. Looks elegant.
Nice to meet you. A young woman in a kimono enters. Cute. Tomoko shows me to my room. This one looks like it has some history. Oh man. What if there were some yokai around? Like this would be the place where they would hang out, probably. Haruko is very prim and proper, but Tomoko seemed like kind of a ditz. So. She's really cute though, so she gets a pass. Tomoko shows me into the room. You can see like Shinji right there. I'm going to appreciate that. Oh, that was the plan, but I may need to stay longer. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Okay, well. Doesn't seem like it gets a whole lot of business here, but that's alright. Uh, we can ask her about uh, the fire. Moka, are you from here? Do you know anything about a college professor's house that burned down 15 years ago? You know it? Seems like you did. You're just not telling me. Oh. Moko leaves and comes back with Haruka. Do you know anything? Anything at all? I'll take anything right now. Wife died. So it was the professor's wife that died. Do I think he had a daughter too? And did she get caught in the fire too? What, what, do you, what, what do you mean? What, what do you mean 25 years ago? Aya Fomino died? I was pen pals with Aya Fomino 15 years ago. Ruka, are you sure you're remembering correctly? But how could that be? Tomoko looks like she wants to say something. What do they say about it? あんた、シャンガサを信じちゃうかね。でも、お客さんは亡くなった娘と文通してたんでしょ。そう言われたらそうげだね。ああ、そうげ言うか。What does that mean? Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Here we go. I show Haruka the photo of Aya. Hmm. I, uh... <laughs> More importantly, is the person in this photograph Aya Fumino? Oh, Tomoko's like blushing, that's cute. What? Right, we can tell the school she attended by her uniform. She went to Matsui Oba High School. Oh, that would be awesome. 
Yes, please. Haruka and Tomoko leave the room. That was a long day. I think I'll take a bath. I'm in the bath, feeling the pleasant, prickly sensation of the hot water. It's not big enough to call it a large bath, maybe more of a small hot tub, but a nice one at least. A wrinkly old man suddenly joins me. Oh, the joys of public bathing. That's great. Who are you, Gramps? Guess I'm stuck with this old weirdo for a little while. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, no thank you. Uh, anyone would say no to that one, I'm sorry. Right. Occupation. Gramps, are you like a detective or something? Or Well, what's wrong with being a detective? I think that'd be a great job. So that's a no. Were you a salesman then? Well, yeah. FBI? The FBI? Oh, I'm sorry. The FBI? Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm sure you were. Now I know you're lying. I'm stuck with this guy now. I guess this is part of traveling. Hooray. This day felt like a mystery novel. If what Haruka said is true, Ayafumi no died 25 years ago. And if that's the case, who sent me all the letters? A ghost? No way. I'm tired. I'll think I'll sleep on it. It's my second day in Mitsui. Still can't believe what happened yesterday. There's a knock at the door. Come in. Tomoko comes into my room. Oh, I think she just has that red on her cheeks all the time. It's makeup. Morning. Oh, thank you. Well, I came here to find Ayafumi now. I'm thinking I'll walk around town and see if I can find anyone who knew her. Tomoko puts the futon away and exits the room. Okay, so let's move around. Go to, uh, we could go to the old other areas, but I don't think we need to. So we're going to go to the Kiyomise shopping area. Don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's how I say it. I'm at the Kiyomise shopping area. There's a lot of shops, the kind that are popular with women. I think I'll ask some of the people around here if they knew where Professor Fumino is. With this many people, someone might know where I can find him. Talk to this guy. Excuse me, do you know Aya Fumino? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure she isn't. Oh, great, okay. Well, that was a dud. I asked a lot of people, but no one knows where Professor Fumino is. I could search for Aya using her photograph. Okay, so, try that. Excuse me, do you know this girl? I showed the photograph of Aya to several people in the shopping area, but no one knew her. Maybe I'll have more luck somewhere else. Okay, so there's really nothing. I mean, we could check around, but like... I mean, there's really not much here. What's this? The pole. Yeah, alright. Okay, let's move around. We're done here, I think. At least for now. Oh, the museum! Yeah, that's right. 
the art the art exhibit start heading to the art museum great it's starting to rain nobody in town or in the queue me said shopping area knew the fermonos so i'm trying a different approach i seem like the smart type so maybe she has some connection with art that's why I thought to visit the Shimani Art Museum. The one they had an ad for on the train, but... Oh crap, the rain's getting worse. Looking around, I see the people around me are taking out umbrellas. Oh, looks like they're all prepared for this. A young woman offers me an umbrella. She's very pretty. Huh? Uh, yeah, I am. Uh, sure. Oh, I do like tours, don't I? What? Oh, okay. Locals never leave the house without an umbrella, I take it. Kari Ishihara. I look at the business card she hands me. You're the curator of the museum? I mean, you're young to be a curator. That's impressive. I'd like to take you up on that. Meeting someone because of the rain is kind of romantic. Nishizuku? I didn't even know there was a name for it. That's pretty cool. I like that. Destiny Drops. How oh, pretty. It's a pretty word. We look at each other smiling. The art museum faces Lake Shinji. It's a large modern building with a glass front. What a magnificent museum. You really like this museum, don't you? I mean, she's just the curator of it. Why would she like it? The excitement about her job just lights up on her face. Kari folds her umbrella as she approaches the front of the museum. Thanks for the umbrella. I buy a ticket and head into the museum. Ishihara shows me around the museum. Hmm. And where do they find it? Spain. Spain? You went to Spain for an art auction? Oh, you have so much passion. Are you single? Maybe we could find a girlfriend while we're here. Yeah, at least make something of the trip. You know, if the whole finding Aya thing doesn't work out. I saw an ad on the train about the unknown local Matsui artist exhibit. Sounds like a dream to have your work here as a local artist. I mean, as an inspiring artist, it'd be great to have your work displayed here, or heck, really anywhere. You know, famous. Okay, so let's ask her. Oh, oh, the dog wants it. Gotta pet the dog. Uh, let's... I guess we could just ask her. Nothing to ask about. What do you mean there's nothing to ask about? bizarre painting a more famous painting in the back as I'm looking at the special exhibition section I see a painting of a kind looking middle-aged woman this is a nice painting I arrive at the exit with you card that was really interesting yeah where I'm from we got the um, Got the Abraham Lincoln Museum, which I've been to once. It was really good. I need to go back. That was years ago. I wasn't able to ask about Aya. What do I do now? I need a moment to organize my thoughts. So we can think. Give you a list of hints or things to say that are appropriate for the situation. Use this option if you're stuck. I know. I'll start with the photo of Aya, which I tried to do earlier. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Actually, I'm looking for someone. 
Looking for some sailors? You know the girl in this photograph? That's a, uh, <laughs> didn't we reference? I show the photo of Aya. She's a pen pal I was corresponding with 15 years ago. I'm trying to find her. <laughs> Spoiler alert, she is Aya. No, no she's not. It's okay, don't worry about it. Aya goes back to work. I know, I'll take this with me. I take the unknown local Matsui artist exhibit flyer with me. Okay, door. Okay, we're good. Well, that was it. That kind of, uh... Helping over a little more information, not gonna lie. Uh, we can go to the high school, though. I'd probably get something there. Let's do it. I walk around the campus and the field. On the field, the baseball, soccer, tennis, and track teams are all practicing. I'm at the Shimane Prefecture Matsui Oba High School. If I ask around here, I might learn something. But how can I find some alumni to talk to? There are shoe racks lining the wall. I wonder if students still leave love letters with their classmates' shoes. Is that a thing anymore? I need to figure out a plan. Sorry, what? I turn around to see a female student, a large, tan, gorilla-like man. <laughs> What? I'm, I'm just looking around. What? No. No. It's not what you think it is. I don't like that. Big guy grabs me. Sir, I wasn't peeping. I was looking for something. Oh, it's a good thing I'm not a criminal then, huh? Oh, come on. Drags me with him. The big guy and another teacher questioned me. Apparently the gorilla's main name is my Masaya Watanabe, and the other teacher name is Sato. They questioned me in the faculty office. There's no evidence of taking photos or peeping because I didn't freaking do that. This is a false accusation. I could get a settlement if I wanted to lawyer up. Not that I'm going to, but they keep tempting me. How many times do I have to say it? I didn't take any photos, didn't peep, didn't touch anyone. Quit spouting this nonsense. I'll put it this way. I didn't break any laws. You really want to find a criminal, huh? Well, I can't make it any clearer. You're wrong about everything and full of crap. Maybe I need to tell them the truth and ask for information. That's a smart thing to do. Look, the reason I'm here is to find information about a graduate of the school named Aya Fumino. Well, no, I just want to know more about her. Please, I won't misuse any information. These guys are not as helpful as I was hoping. Yeah, I figured. That sucks. I arrived at the school entrance with Watanabe. They finally figured out it was innocent and let me go. A uniformed baseball player approaches. <laughs> Bows and leaves. Thanks to this gorilla man, I wasn't able to get any actual information. Well, I know the school employs a dumb gorilla man, but that doesn't help much. You're the baseball coach, huh? I thought you were strong. I have a bruise where you grab me. You can expect a bill. I'm serious, man. Eh, yeah, hell with it. Let's ask him. We show him them. I don't need to show this right now. Alright, I'll just ask him then. Where they give you these options, but you don't have, like... You don't have a way to like do it your own way. Like you can't just show them a picture and say, hey, do you remember this person? No, it's just like, you gotta ask them this way. I kind of wish it was a little more open-ended in that way. I guess I could ask this guy about Aya. You know someone named Aya Fumino? You know her. Oh. 
she died. Or she faked her death. Or the girl who wrote me letters was actually someone else and she was using Aya Fumino's name. When did she die? Man, that's rough. There was a student named Aya Fumino that went here 15 years ago. Wasn't there? Man, I really needed some information here. Yeah, yeah, fine. I leave. I wore myself out walking everywhere. I think I'll go back to my room for a bit. That sucked. I head back to the inn. As I return to my room, the exhaustion of the trip suddenly sweeps over me and I feel sleepy. In the darkness, I'm holding a candle as I climb the stairs. Where am I? As I walk down the hallway, I see the door at the end is open. Why is my body shaking? I can't keep going. In that room, there's a girl in a school uniform, sitting at a desk writing a letter with slow, measured strokes. Are you Ayafumi now? The girl slowly turns to me, her head pivoting like some kind of machinery. Her face is a black void. Ah! It was a nightmare. Oh, when did I fall asleep? As I get up, I can hear Tomoko chuckling. I hazily realize she's here to get the plates from dinner. <laughs> it, it was a dream? <laughs> How long have you been here? Oh, come on. Well, if they lived here, they would. That's kind of my choice. Is there anything else? What? Ooh. A lot okay, we finally got a lead. How old is he? About 30? Okay, so about my age. A little younger. Then he might know something. Thanks, I'll go check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She really needs to learn when to stop talking. It's too early for a bath. I guess I could go check out the bar that Tomoko was talking about. Oh, might as well. Nakamura Bar. It's, all we can go to. it's the only place we can go to right now. I step up to the front of the Nakamura Bar. It's pretty easy to find in this small town. It looks like a secret fort for adults. A lot of bottles. The small bar is a counter and a couple tables. A good looking bartender with a well trimmed beard is the only one serving drinks. You know, every Japanese game has a bartender, like, has a beard. Like, every bartender has a beard. There's a middle aged man at the counter. Yeah, he's a good looking chap. Not gonna lie. Take a seat. I have the exact same shirt. I, I I can actually recreate the outfit exactly. I have like I have a black vest, a white frilled shirt, and a bow tie that is black. I can literally recreate that guy. I can do a cosplay of him. I'll do that. Rubbin on the rocks. Who's this guy? Yeah, from Tokyo. Yeah, I'm noticing that. People at the high school are kind of dicks, but... Yeah. Oh, he's, the, he's the owner. Okay, Nakamura. Ah, okay. Well, so far, I like it. Nozu. You know, I'm not a bartender, but man, like, just being like a bartender and just like a small little joint like that would be nice. Just kind of chilling, serving drinks to people and like hearing their life story or their day to day, you know. I don't know, there's something, I don't know, peaceful about it, you know, serene. I don't know, I'm weird. TV? Oh, nice. 
Okay, well, let's ask the bartender. There's no one to ask. What do you mean there's no one to ask? There are bottles of various types of alcohol. Uh, that's all that is here. Small casks. Uh, ooh, look at that out. Look at that view. Scenery, though, this big window is wonderful. Some sort of photo. Yeah, I know. Oh, it's right there. I didn't even notice. Okay. And look at the photo on the wall. A female TV announcer is standing with Nozu. Is that lady standing with Nozu a celebrity? Oh, so they're classmates. He's beautiful. Was she your girlfriend or something? More of a man of the shadows. I can respect that. Chat, what is that? What does that mean? Let's ask him what that means. What's the story behind your bartender? A fine. Oh. Uh, I know a bit. A decent amount. Jim Beam Devil's Cut. Jim Beam Devil's Cut. Taken back from the devil. That's a rare liqueur. Master is looking for me. This is a good one. Devil's Cut for him. I'm the only one. I understand. Thank you. There's a glass of Jim Beam Devil's Cut in front of me. I take a drink. I know what they call uh, like the alcohol that gets evaporated into the like into the air and stuff from like making it. Called that the Angel's Share. So it makes sense to call it the Devil's Cut. Now that is some good bourbon. That's right. <laughs> Oh really? He wants to buy the bartender. Buy the bar. Buy the bar. Huh. I can stay here all day. Nakamura leaves. Okay. Can I show him a picture? Talk a little first. Okay, fair enough. How old are you? This guy is as old as me, exactly old as me. My, this guy is me. In game. That's the same age as me! <laughs> that is awesome. I like that. That is really cool. I heard you graduate from Matsui Oba High School. So he might know Aya. Let's ask. Uh, local recommendations first. Anywhere around here I should check out? It's a castle. Okay. Why? Oh, whoops. Was there an Aya Fumino at your high school? Oh. Oh, he got surprised. This girl. I showed them the photo. What? I, I came here from Tokyo because I'm looking for her. And his attitude completely changes. He's looking me over on guard. What? Why? Jesus. Well. Hurry out of the bar. I can't believe it got kicked out. It was like a switch flipped when I mentioned Aya's Fumino's name. He knows something. Now it's late. I better go back to the inn. Well, I think I'm going to call it an episode. An episode. This is going to be the quick look. Which are not so quick, but that's just the nature of the game. I can't really make them quick. But I hope you all enjoyed uh, Root Letter, Last Answer. Um, you've, you can, Like I said, you can check it out right now on the PS4, Switch, or the PC on Steam. Um, yeah, I really like this game. I'm, I'm actually really excited to play more of it. And figure out, you know, the big mystery behind this girl that apparently... Uh, People are hiding, you know, they're hiding something. They, they just some, some, sums up, you know. 
So with that said, I will see you all next time and have a good day and take care.